Once upon a time, not long ago and not far away, it was a wintry day in the hills and a wintry day on the farm. See the snow? It's been snowing on this farm, and it's a cold day today. Where's the house? There's the house. And there's smoke coming from the chimney because it's a cold day. Is there a snowman on this farm? Do you think there is? He's not in the barnyard. There he is. Oh, a giant snowman. A big one. Right next to the big boot. Find the boot. There's the boot. Now look up. Boots are good things on snowy days and cold, wintry days. Shall we go to the castle? I'll hurry over first and go in the back door so that I can let the drawbridge down and open the big front doors for you. Are you ready? Here's my castle. bigger chair for two more to curl up in and for someone who likes to rock a rocking chair in the middle close by the fire on a wintry day there now look up look way up higher and I'll call Rusty Rusty finally could you uh, pull me up, please, friendly? Pull, pull you up? Yes, just pull. Pull. That me. This is you? That me, friendly. <laughs> just keep pulling me. <laughs> just keep on pulling. All right. Stop. Here I am. Right here, friendly. Oh. There <laughs> you are in the... Just it's a minute, the, Rusty. Oh, the big hat I've uh, got on. Oh, this is a hat. Yes, that's right. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, uh, it's a good hat. Kind of a stocking cap, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. But I, it's, it's too big for you, Rusty. Well, I wanted to go out and uh, build a snowman friendly, mm -hmm. and I, I couldn't find my, my own uh, hat, so I borrowed uh, Jerome's hat. Oh, this is Jerome. That's right. Mm -hmm. okay. That's Jerome. You've lost yours. I have, friendly. I, I don't know where it is. Well, did you go out and build a snowman? Well, no, because I couldn't uh, I couldn't see very well in Jerome's hat. Yeah, it is, it's and too big. Here, sir. <laughs> Well, it's too bad you lost your hat. Where's Jerome? I haven't seen him lately, friendly. I'll whistle for him. All right. It was nice of him to let you use his hat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There he comes. Hi, Jerome. Hello, friendly. Hello, Rusty. Hello, Jerome. Well, I I found your hat for you, Rusty. I was looking oh. for it, oh. and I found it. Well, where is it? Well, don't you see it? Rusty. Oh, he's wearing it. Is. Uh, <laughs> a little it's small uh, for you, Jerome. Well, I uh, I just thought I'd put it on and to see how it looked. It is a little small. Well, it's good you found it because Rusty needed it. He mm -hmm. uh, he tried your hat on, Jerome, but it's just a little too big for him. Just right for you though, isn't it? Oh, just right for me, friendly. Don't forget that it uh, goes around my neck a little bit there. Oh, like this. It sort of keeps my. Uh, my tonsils warm. Yes. Yeah. Right about here? Mm -hmm. That's such a right. long neck, you'd need two of these, really. I look sort of nice in it, don't you think? Very good. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. You look very good in your hat, too, Rusty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Rusty didn't build a snowman. Well, no, I didn't, because uh, well, I couldn't really see very well in your hat, uh, no. Jerome. Cold out, anyhow, 
snowman. It's really too cold to build a snowman. Too cold to build a snowman? Mm -hmm. Oh, the snow must be just right to build a snowman. If it's too cold, the snow won't pack, will it? That's right. That's right. And then if it's too warm, the snowman would melt. That's right. It's got to be just right. That's like that poem about, uh, what's that snowman? It's in the big blue book, I think. The snowman? Snowman? Oh, that melted, snowman. yes. I know, I know, I know. It's, uh, Benjamin Buzz. No, 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 no. Yes, it is, it's Benjamin Buzz. No, it isn't uh, Benjamin Buzz friendly. It's, uh, it's, uh, Jonathan Bing. Jo Jonathan Bing? That's what it is, Jonathan Bing. Oh, it isn't, Jerome. It's Benjamin Buzz. Jonathan Bean. <laughs> Benjamin Buzz. Jonathan Bean. Jerome, Rusty. Yeah? There's one way to find out. Oh, look in the big blue book. Look in the big blue oh, book. That's right. I know it's uh, Jonathan Bing friendly. You say it's Jonathan Bing. They are friendly. <laughs> and Rusty, you say it's... I say it's Benjamin, Benjamin Buzz. Buzz. Well, I know well, it's Jonathan see. Bing. It really is Jonathan Bing. Benjamin Buzz. Jonathan Bing. Benjamin Jerome, look. Benjamin Buzz. I told you, I told you, I told you. <laughs> I really thought Rusty it was. was right. I thought it was Jonathan Bain. It's Benjamin, Benjamin Buzz. Buzz. Mm -hmm. Can you see there? Yes, I can see that. Probably. All right. Yeah, let's read the poem. Let's read it. It's The Snowman by Mildred Sue Meggs, and here he is, Sir Benjamin Buzz. <laughs> And one day, the snowman, Sir Benjamin Buzz, he started to melt, as a snowman does. And down ran the crown of his icicled hat over his forehead. And right after that, he noticed his whiskers go lolloping by, along with his chin and his collar and tie. And then Benjamin looked and saw that his chest was gliding away through his coat and his vest. And after a little, he sighed, Oh, hum, there goes a finger, and there goes a thumb. Oh. And scarce had he spoken when Benjamin felt that both of his legs were beginning to melt. And down they ran, dribbling bit after bit, like two creamy candles a sunbeam had lit. Really must be warm. Alas, cried Sir Ben, I am merely a bump. And the next thing he knew, he sat down with a stump. And then, little by little, he slipped like a sleigh and quietly, quietly slithered away. Oh. And next, when he noticed the spot he was on, he looked for himself, and he saw he was gone. And that is the story of Benjamin Buzz, who melted one day, as a snowman does. Oh, that's awfully sad, sort of. Well, it doesn't hurt snowmen to melt when they're made of snow, does it, friendly? Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Oh. And it was Benjamin Buzz, it wasn't it? It was Benjamin Buzz, I admit it. But who, who is Jonathan Bing? Well, I never heard of Jonathan Bing. There is somebody named Jonathan Bing, and there, there's a poem about him, friendly, and I say, I wonder if he's in the big blue book. Jonathan Bing? Jonathan Bing. I. He may be in the big blue book, friendly. Let's look Is he a see. snowman? I, I don't really remember whether he's a snowman or not, but Jonathan Bing. Look at the I guess pictures the names sort of, they sound like each other. Next page, friendly. That's him, that's him, that's him. That's Jonathan Bing. You're right. Jonathan Bing, and I know what it's it is. It's another poem. What? He goes to see the king. Oh. That's he a does. good poem. He does. Do you know that poem? I remember the poem now that... Now that you know I it by heart? Picture. I well, think I would. I'll, I'll show try. the pictures and you say the poem. All right. <clears throat> Here he is. No. Jonathan Bing. You ready? Poor old Jonathan Bing. That's the first line. Mm -hmm. Went out in his carriage to visit the king. But everyone pointed and said, look at that. Jonathan Bing has forgotten his hat. He'd forgotten his hat. Oh. Poor old Jonathan Bing went home and put on a new hat for the king. But up by the palace, the soldier said, Hi, you can't see the king. You've forgotten your tie. He'd forgotten his tie. Oh. Poor old Jonathan Bing. He put on a beautiful tie for the king. But when he arrived, an archbishop said, Oh, you can't.
can't come to court in pajamas, you know. Poor old Jonathan Bing went home and addressed a short note to the king. If you please will excuse me, I won't come to tea, for home's the best place for all people like me. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's part of a nice poem. And who wrote that poem? Uh, it was uh, Beatrice Curtis Brown wrote it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Barry Zade made the pictures. That's right, that's right, friendly. And he couldn't go to visit the king because he didn't wear the right clothes. I think it's sort of silly to think that you have to dress just right, friendly. Well, you wouldn't visit anyone wearing pajamas. Well, no, <clears> but I wouldn't always uh, wear a tie or a, mm. or a hat or anything. Well, I always dress just right. You do? You do. I always dress just right. I go out to, uh, to build a snowman. I, I don't wear my bathing suit. I wear my hat and well, my sweater. Well, that's right. Well, mm -hmm. I suppose. You do, Rusty. Just you like always that. dress just right. Just That's like the hat that. I wear. Yeah. Well, are you ready to go out and build Would a snowman now? Well, it's really too cold, isn't it, Friendly? Yes, it really is. Would you get the giant's pipe, please? Yes, all right, Friendly. Oh, would you take my hat off, please? Oh, all it's right. It's probably going to fall when I go down. Here you are, Friendly. You want your hat on now? Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Looks sort of good. Mm -hmm. Then, if you do want to go out, not to build a snowman, but just to walk in the cold weather, you'll be dressed just right. We could go out and uh, look for good snow that would be good for building a snowman when it's warm enough, Rusty. Oh, that's a good idea. To make his eyes and find pieces of coal or something to make his eyes wet. Mm -hmm. Bye, Rusty. Bye bye, friendly. Bye, Jerome. Bye bye, friendly. It is late. This little chair will be waiting for one of you. The rocking chair for another who likes to rock. And the big arm chair for two more to curl up in when you come again to our castle. Now I'll close the big front doors and pull up the drawbridge after you're gone. Goodbye. Goodbye.